Welcome back to Linux Hub. Today we will be doing an overview of Nopix Linux version 9.1. Nopix is a bootable disk with a collection of GNU Linux software, automatic hardware detection, and support for mini graphics cards, sound cards, SCSI, and USB devices and other peripherals. Nopix can be used as a Linux demo, educational disk, rescue system, or adapted and used as a platform for commercial software product demos. It is not necessary to install anything on a hard disk. Due to on-the-fly decompression, the disk can have up to 10 gigabytes of executable software installed on it. So let's dive in and check out Nopix Linux version 9.1. While Nopix Linux is an older Linux distro from 2021, it is mainly used to rescue systems and system administration. AR and R can be used to set your desktop resolution to your desired need. Omic suggests the settings of an audio mixing device. It can be used from the command line, in scripts, or interactively with the keyboard or mouse. The LibreOffice suite can be used to open Excel and other Office documents. HTOP, a cross-platform interactive process viewer. It is a text mode application for console or X terminals to view running resources. PCMan FM is a free file manager application and the standard file manager of LXDE. Chromium is an open source browser project that aims to build a safer, faster, and more stable way for all users to experience the web. Nopix Linux comes with a huge selection of pre-installed applications.
Synaptic is a lightweight graphical interface front-end to app package management system used in Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and many other Debian Ubuntu-based distributions. Basically, everything that you can do using the app get commands in the terminal can be achieved with Synaptic. KWrite is a lightweight text editor developed by the KDE Free Software Community. Since K Desktop Environment 3, KWrite has been based on the Kate text editor and the KParts framework, allowing it to use many of Kate's features. GIMP is a cross-platform image editor available for GNU Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and more operating systems. Whether you are a graphic designer, photographer, illustrator, or scientist, GIMP provides you with sophisticated tools to get your job done. You can further enhance your productivity with GIMP thanks to many customization options and third-party plugins. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphics editor for GNU Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. It offers a rich set of features and is widely used for both artistic and technical illustrations such as cartoons, clip art, logos, typography, diagramming, and flowcharting. It uses vector graphics to allow for sharp printouts and renderings at unlimited resolution and is not bound to a fixed number of pixels like raster graphics. Inkscape uses the standardized SVG file format as its main format, which is supported by many other applications including web browsers. Mozilla Firefox, or simply Firefox, is a free and open source web browser developed by the Mozilla Foundation and its subsidiary, the Mozilla Corporation. It uses the Gecko rendering engine to display web pages, which implements current and anticipated web standards. The clam AV command can identify and relocate files on Linux that have been infected by viruses, but not remove the viruses themselves. One popular and easy to use tool for detecting virus infections on Linux systems is clam AV. It's open source and free, and runs on many Linux systems, Ubuntu and Fedora included. GNU DDD is a graphical front end for the command line debugger. Audacity is an audio recording and editing software application that is open source, so anyone can download it for free with no restrictions of use. This software can record live audio, cut, copy, splice or mix sounds together, and edit various audio files. 
VLC is a free and open source cross-platform multimedia player and framework that plays most multimedia files as well as DVDs, audio CDs, VCDs, and various streaming protocols. VLC is a free and open source cross-platform multimedia player and framework that plays most multimedia files and various streaming protocols. Console is a free and open source terminal emulator graphical application which is part of KDE applications and ships with the KDE desktop environment. K-Magnifier is a screen magnifier. You can use K-Magnifier to magnify a part of the screen just as you would use a lens to magnify a newspaper fine print or a photograph. Run is an app search tool to easily find and run applications. Thanks for watching this overview of Nopix Linux version 9.1. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Linux overviews.